What is up my dudes and that one girl who likes a man dressed in plaid? This is Bikes, Beards and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos coming weekly. You hit the bell, you'll know when that happens. Let's get the other stuff out of the way. Want to save 10% on a Cardo Communicator? Check my referral link down below. Want to support me and all my do-goodness like these cool guys here? Bam! These should become part of the brew crew and join the coffee page down below. Want to know why I'm asking you for money? Well, it's not to buy 100 more motorcycles or that Batmobile I saw down in Orlando, even though I would love that. Seriously, you guys have my mailing address. Send me a Batmobile. It is for a good cause. And if you look down below next to those 1,000 Amazon affiliate links that also go to the good cause, there is a video explaining it all. Get it? Got it? Good? Cool. Let's move on. All right, guys, this is a review I'm really excited to do because I've been following this company for a little while now. I've been talking to them back and forth. I've seen other riders using their products, and it's something I've been really wanting to test out and do a fair and honest review on. So this company, Beyond Riders, uh, was nice enough to send me one of their shirts to try out in exchange for a fair and honest review. So no, I did not pay for this shirt, but the only agreement that I have with this company currently is a fair and honest honest review, which we are going to do today. So let's just get this out of the way and reveal the shirt. So this is the Beyond Riders Protective Flannel Shirt. And I am really excited to try this out. And uh, hey, it comes in my colors. That's cool. So yeah, let's break down this shirt a little bit. I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you uh, the pros. If I find some cons, we'll talk about the cons. And uh, then, you know, make up your mind from there and decide if this is something that you would like to try out as well. So first and foremost, I will say that it is advertised as a a flannel shirt, but because it's got a few layers in it, it definitely feels a little thicker. It uh, it borders on a coat, no doubt, and I'm totally okay with that because when I'm going to be wearing this is on my bike. Now, for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that nine times out of ten, I'm just wearing my vest and a normal flannel shirt underneath. Not a lot of protection, so this is one of those things that I've been really excited to add to my arsenal, and I am really excited to check out. So let's first off, just try this out because first and foremost, the thing that I really like about Beyond Riders is their coats are advertised to fit true to size, which means um, unlike all those other products out there where you're seeing coats that are like this, shirts that are like this, um, you have to order like a 7X or like a 15X because you're an extra large. We've all been there. We know what it's like. You know it. I know it. But yes, these are supposed to be true to size. So I ordered this as the same size as any other shirt I wear. So let's try this out. What's up? You think I'll make an eye contact while I do that? <laughs> so first and foremost, yes, this fits. And I'm not zipping it up right away because I did want to break down some of the stuff that is in this coat. So first and foremost, one of the things that I noticed when I zipped it was it's got this nice little eyeglass cleaner built right into the side. That is fantastic. It also has a few inside pockets. So you've got your chest pockets there. So next up, I do want to zip it up. So here's two things that I really like. First and foremost, you have the zipper and then you have the snaps. I'm sure this is doing hell on my microphone right now, <laughs> but that's what we're doing. So let me just turn around a little bit. One of the things I noticed is the gussets on the shoulder to give you a little extra like slack when you're riding your bike. I really like that. The other thing is there are zippers on the side. So if things are getting a little too toasty, if you're riding this in the summer or whatnot, and you need some extra air coming into your jacket, there are zippers up here that open up and add a little bit of extra ventilation to your ride, which is pretty sweet. I'm just kind of feeling around there. I know they're there. <laughs> so yes, they are there. It is good. The other cool thing about this shirt is it offers level one or level two CE body armor that you can put into the shoulders, the elbows, and the back. Um, if you are also looking for a little bit of extra armor, maybe you want a little extra safety, or maybe you haven't been hitting the gym as much as you've been hoping, they offer level two uh, chest <laughs> padding as well that you can also order. All the padding does come separately, so you can choose if you want level one or level two, and you can also choose the chest pads. So 
just be aware of that. If you do order just the shirt, you will not be getting the pads, but they are there to order. Oh, logoed and stuff like that. We're gonna be popping these in the shirt before we take this for a ride because we do wanna test that out, of course. And all of this came in a nice little drawstring backpack. So this is kind of cool because if you're riding, you wanna take your shirt off or whatnot and you wanna set it aside, you can pop it in this bag and you can either carry it with you, you can toss in a saddlebag, you can strap it to your bike, whatever you wanna do. But this is a nice little like thoughtful extra add-on that I really appreciate it when I opened the package. Okay, so let's break down the shirt a little bit. So the outside layer is 100% cotton flannel. The inside shell is 100% polyester. And then the inner shell is 100% Kevlar fiber. So you're getting a little extra protection, a little extra strength out of this that you would not be getting with just a normal flannel shirt. So I really appreciate that because again, normally I just ride with my vest that has no armor and no protection and a normal flannel shirt. So this is giving me a little extra security that I didn't have before. Another thing that I found was the cufflinks are also zipper and button, so you get that little extra security as well. The other cool thing is if these buttons ever happen to just disappear on you, they've got you covered because they actually send a few extras that you can replace any lost ones with. That's pretty cool as well. That's forward thinking, it's thoughtful. Some of you may say, well, that sounds like an inferior product, but I say no because look, we all know that riding definitely beats up anything that's on the bike. So, you know, any sort of fabrics, bags, stuff like that, take a beating, especially in the different weathers and stuff. So it is nice to have replacement parts like this included. So you're not trying to hunt them down or you're not replacing it with something that doesn't match the rest of what's on your coat. I like this, kudos to you, Beyond Riders, for making this happen. There's also a few stickers attached, so that is pretty cool. And you've got the Designed in America, this is actually a California-based company, so I think that is very cool as well. But enough talking about the coat, let's go ahead on the bike and actually test this out on the road. It's a little chilly out now, we're in fall, so I think that's a great time to test this out, see how it feels, see how much wind comes through it, and see if this coat lives up to all the expectations I have set forth on it. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we are out on the bike and we are testing out this jacket. I know it's supposed to be a shirt. I know that it is labeled a shirt. Like I said, it's got a couple layers to it, which is the reason why I'm so interested in it in the first place. But it makes me default to calling it a jacket. No slight towards Beyond Riders there. It's just that, to me, a shirt is a single layer. And this is multiple layers. Nothing wrong with that, but that is something you should know when you're on the site, if you're shopping for this and you see flannel shirt, it's definitely going to wear more like a jacket. That being said, I do have all the armor in it. I've got it in the shoulders. I've got the back stuff. I've got the elbow stuff. It is definitely comfortable. It doesn't feel intrusive to me. It's not that stuff that is poorly formed where it, you feel it kind of digging into your joints or whatnot. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I have a nice full range of movement on my elbows and my shoulders. And that also comes back to the gusseted back on here where it's giving me that little extra room. I'm not sure if you could fully see my sleeve here, but you know, there's, there's no wrist being exposed or whatnot. And if you're wearing like a three quarter cuff or something like that in the winter, these are gonna go into the gloves quite nicely to keep you warm and to keep you from getting exposed to any sort of elements. Another thing I do appreciate, like I said, it's not pulling back and exposing any sort of skin because of that extra little gusseted back. And that's, that's a thoughtful addition that I do really like. So naturally, when you're sitting on your bike, you're gonna get a little extra, extra belly. <laughs> and this doesn't feel like it's pulling on me or anything. It doesn't feel like the fabric's like holding on for dear life because it was too snug to begin with. Everything feels very comfortable. Uh, like I had said earlier, these are true to size. And when I say true to size, I mean true to US sizing because we definitely have 
different sizing than the rest of the world. So if you do find yourself on their site and you do find yourself interested in ordering some of their products, definitely pay attention to their measurement guide. Personally, I didn't even do that. Um, don't tell them I said that. <laughs> I actually ordered what I would order for my normal coat, hoodies, flannel shirts, stuff like that. I ordered that size because their thing is telling you that these are true to size. So to me, true to size means I can order what my normal size is and it's going to fit. And it sure did. <laughs> so yeah, either way, if you want to save yourself some headache, uh, like if you're on the cusp of like a large or an extra large or something like that, use their measurements and order accordingly. Or if you want to be a little bit daring, throw caution to the wind, order the size that you are normally comfortable wearing and you should be all set. Now aside from that, I am just wearing a t-shirt underneath this, so I didn't layer up or anything like that. It is a little bit cool out, as you can see leaves are starting to fall, we're definitely in the fall season. It's not super cold, but it is starting to get a little bit chillier than, you know, a few weeks ago. Now with that being said, I'm not feeling uh, mass amounts of air pass through this jacket. In fact, currently I'm not feeling any air pass through this jacket. So that to me is a huge win because quite honestly, the way you're going to stay warm when it starts getting a little chillier, you know, when you're thinking about wearing flannels on a motorcycle is by keeping that cold air out. And so far, so good. Now, I'm not up to highway speeds. I will definitely try that a little bit later on and see if it continues to hold up. But usually you can feel it at lower speeds first and then you feel it a whole lot at higher speeds. So I'm fairly confident in that. Now I'm sure a question may be, is this water resistant? Um, aside from running through a bunch of sprinklers, I couldn't quite tell you right now. Surprisingly, this is like the first day in, I don't know, forever where it's not raining. However, the outside of the coat is 100% cotton flannel. The inside is polyester and then it has the Kevlar fiber inside as well. There's nothing that is indicative of this being a water resistant uh, shirt, coat, whatever you want to call it. So I wouldn't plan to make this your rain gear. However, that being said, I'm sure in a pinch, if you're caught in the rain, it'll at least help you until you get to that next overpass or place where you can pop on your rain gear. But it is going to let moisture in, so just be aware of that. Some of the other stuff I noticed is this isn't an overly heavy coat, shirt, again, whatever you want to defer to. I'm probably going to continue to refer to it as a coat, but um, it's not particularly heavy. So it is something that you can get off your bike and you can wear into your favorite bar or restaurant or something like that. You know, it's going to be comfortable for that. You're not going to want to like just rip this thing off right when you get off the bike, which I, again, I very much appreciate. The other thing is it is soft. Now it's not as soft as, you know, some of my other flannels, but that's because it literally has layers in it. So I wouldn't expect it to be. But overall, it is a soft flannel. It, it is comfortable. It's not something you're going to have to break in, which is good. Just under your arms 
where, let's be honest, you should be getting some breeze and wind coming through. Yeah, honestly, overall, I gotta say, I really like this. This is a really nice goat. I don't have any actual negatives I can throw at it right now. Um, maybe when I do a long-term review, I will find some, but currently, this is great. This is what I would expect an armored flannel to be. And I'm very happy with that. And this isn't my first rodeo when it comes to armored flannels. Uh, my wife actually has a few from a competitor. I know some people that have them from competitors. And I've held them, I've played with them, I've tried them and all that stuff. And uh, they just didn't feel comfortable. They did not win me over. So that's why I never really pulled the trigger on those. And quite honestly, that's why I was a little reserved on actually diving in and just buying one of these as well. Because I had come across so many of them that just felt bad. Like they felt overly stiff. They felt like they would fall apart any minute. One of them felt like it was woven together at a fishing line. I don't even know what the hell was going on with that one. So yes, it did give me cold feet when it came to ordering one of these, which is why I was really cool with Beyond Riders reaching out and saying they would like to send me one to test and review. I'm really glad they did. And quite honestly, I'd have no issue buying these going forward, which would be easy to do because there are a ton of designs or just solid colors to choose from, as well as armored pants and all that other stuff. I don't want to speak for the armored pants because, well, I'm not wearing them. <laughs> but for these flannel shirts uh, particularly, I like this. I like this a lot. This is a cool shirt. This gets a thumbs up in my book for sure. Now with that being said, with this shirt, Beyond Riders also offered me an affiliate code. The affiliate code was something I didn't want to use until I actually tried the shirt. To me, affiliate codes mean something. I don't ever want to push or advertise something I don't believe in, that I don't like, that I you know, wouldn't personally use. I like this. I'm going to be using this shirt. You are going to see this when I go to do road trips because I like having that little extra armor and a little extra peace of mind while riding. So I have no issues using that affiliate code and being an affiliate of Beyond Riders. So down below, you will see a discount code if you decide you too would like a Beyond Riders shirt <laughs> or pants or well anything else in their catalog so yes i do have a discount code below and just like my cardo affiliation and my amazon links and all that any money that i get from you guys using the code to buy this shirt is not going into my pocket it's going to go into my toy drive at the end of the year which is actually coming up in a few weeks <laughs> so yeah anything I earn off of these shirts will be going to my toy drive just like the other stuff so know that when you're using that you're you're going to get a great shirt and then your money is also going to help out a good cause so that's what I got for you guys today what do you think of it? Do you like it? Would you call it a shirt? Would you call it a coat? That's up to you. Is this something you'd think about ordering? Let me know down below. Do you have any other questions about the shirt? Definitely throw them down below. I'll see if I can answer it. I would also recommend that you check out other people that are doing reviews on this because you really should have multiple uh, feedback on stuff like this, especially when you're making purchases that are a little more expensive than $20. However, if you go down the rabbit hole like I did, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of good reviews and it's going to help give you some peace of mind on this product. But that's what I've got for today. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share with family, Share with that one dude you know who also wants to look like the lumberjack on the roll of paper towels. He loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.